Hi everyone, I'm Andy. Um, obviously, I'm working on the, the Android app. Um, and like Björn, I also want to talk to you about how you can contribute to the app's development, uh, which basically means I'm going to talk a little bit about the process. And I'm also going to have some numbers to click. Which one is it this? Yeah. Um, first, why would you even want to join development? Um, we had our first release on the 12th of June. Um, we're growing pretty fast, uh, so we got, well, I sent these uh, slides to yours, I think, on Thursday evening. Um, so they're already outdated. We are at more than 17,000 active users now. I just checked it on my phone. Um, and I'm a little bit lying. I say we got four months and four feature releases. That's, at this very moment, not true. So I'm happy to announce that today, within a couple of hours, we're going to release uh, 1.3.0, the next feature release, which is going to bring a lot of new stuff to you, uh, like filtering and also bug fixes, the way we handle the Javu files. Um, and we've got a pretty good rating right now. It's 4.6, but it's actually nearly 4.7, but I just cut off the first digit. Um, so that's three things I value. It's the people, so you, you contribute to an app that's already widespread. Um, I care about execution. That's a good thing here. We already could do four feature releases. So it's basically a new release each month. Uh, we didn't do one in August because everybody from us was on vacation. Um, that's basically the reason why we didn't do it in August. Um, but we do it today. Um, and we're pretty successful. So you're able to join a team. Uh, also get new experience in how to develop apps, how to deal with an app that's quite popular on the market. Um, so it's basically a win-win for everybody. So now you have an idea and you want to go to get it launched. Uh, unfortunately, it's not just one step. You have an idea, boom, it's on your phone. Um, we still have to do some steps in between, but we try to keep it lean. Uh, we're still focusing on quality uh, when it comes to the app, but not wanting you to have to wait for new features for like half, an, half a year or even a year. So we basically got five steps. Um, to not get you frustrated, the easiest thing is to just start up the discussion, could be on the forum, and at some point move to GitHub. Open an issue, have a discussion, then we're going to label it approved at some point. That's a good thing, so you know it will be implemented at some point. Uh, then it'll move to, to develop, which means that's going to be one thing we're going to develop in the near, near future, probably the next release or the release afterwards. Um, then we start opening a pull request, or whoever does, um, and it's going to be in developing. That basically uh, tells you that it's still been work people are still working on it, and it's not done yet. Um, so it's something in between, and then we're going to label it to review. That's basically done by the contributor, um, which tells you it's feature complete uh, from a development perspective, but it, nobody has taken a look at it. Um, so one quality manage measure we then take is doing a review, which is enforced. So you can't merge any change to our master branch without having a review from at least one person um, who's in a maintainer list, so they have to check your code changes. Um, if that is done and everything works out fine, it's going to be labeled to release. And you're, it's also going to be assigned to a milestone, so you're I uh, have a pretty good idea uh, when you will get it on your phone. Um, so now you want to do a contribution code-wise. So you simply, you can either fork or you already have uh, write access on, on our repository. So basically open a new feature branch, do your development, you can already open a pull request, have a discussion about changes, get some help from the community. Um, what I usually do, I just post screenshots and ask the, the complete designers list to give me some feedback or even if I have a problem, if I don't know how to solve it from a user experience or UI perspective. Um, I usually talk to Jan or Mario or one of the other guys. Uh, when I think I'm done, I simply label it to code review. Uh, then usually Tobias does my code reviews. Um, and it's also a trigger point. As soon as something gets labeled to review, which means feature complete, it's going to be pushed uh, to a better app, which is distributed uh, via F-Droid. Um, so if everything runs smoothly, the code review is done, I did all the changes uh, Tobias demands me to do. Um, we also have the CI builds. If they turn out green, yay, all tests are fine. Uh, we simply merge it. 
Um, then it's back on the master, and if we got all the features we're planned for a new release uh, to this stage, we're simply going to release it. So yay, ship it. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, and like Björn also said, you don't have to be able to code or even want to code uh, to contribute to our app or any part of the ecosystem of Nextcloud. You can either help us with translations. Uh, right now we're supporting 32 languages, um, but for this release we only have five at the complete stage. Um, and the others are pretty close. So we're talking about 89% done of the translations, but we're still missing the 2%. So um, you don't have to have any IT background, know how to code or stuff like that. You don't have to have any idea about Android itself. You can simply translate text, and this is going to help us. It's going to help us a lot. Um, you can join the designer team. Um, like everyone, everybody's always welcome to help. Uh, it also speeds up things. You can advertise the app uh, with your friends. Uh, it's open source, it's free on, on Android and on Google Play. Uh, you can test drive new releases. We've got several channels. Uh, we do release candidates. That gives you a good impression of what's going to be the next stable. You can test it on your environments, give us feedback so we can do late minute fixes, even though every release candidate or the release candidates of the next release have to survive in the wild for two weeks else we don't gonna do a stable release. Um, yeah, that's basically it. And report issues. So if there's anything you're missing in the app, or your feature request, or if you have any bug which really nags you, um, just tell us. We're gonna have a discussion, and I'm sure we're still able to fix it uh, and resolve any matter. So, thank you. <laughs>